This is Homelink 5.1, frames and arrows for everyday math. Have your child read and solve the three frames and arrows problems. Review the rule that is being used in each puzzle. Ask your child to look for patterns in the frames. For example, which digit changes when adding or subtracting 10? Tens digit and hundreds digit change when moving from the 8,800s to the 8,900s. 100, hundreds digit and thousands digit change when moving from the 8,000s to the 9,000s. 1,000, thousands digit and 10,000s digit change when moving from the 9,000s to the 10,000s. Please return this home link to school tomorrow. So we're just going to take a look at these so you can get the idea for how to do them. You'll notice that there are three problems. And each problem has a rule. So the first rule is to add 10. The second rule is to add 100. And the third rule is to add 1,000. So this tells us what we have to do to this number. So by adding 10 to this number, I know that first I have to look at this digit to change. Okay, and if it goes to a zero, then I have to look at also this one, because this is my tens place, this is my hundreds place. So, I'm going to add 10 to this. So this is going to go up by, by 1, because this is my tens place. So everything else is going to look exactly the same. 8, 8, 9, 9. Now, I'm also going to go up by 1 here, when I go here. Since I can't go up by 1 and make 10 here and write 10 in the middle of my, and write 10 in the middle of the number, I'm going to have to go up to 0, and then I have to add 1 to this number here. So it's these two numbers that we're looking at. So it's going to be 8,909, because that becomes a 0 becomes a 9. And again, we're just still looking at this tens place. So, because we're adding 10, so that's going to go up by 1, because that's the tens place. And so it's going to be 8, 9, 1, 9, and so on. Now, you might be wondering what happens when we go back here. Well, we have to think about the pattern. So we want it to look like we added 1 to that tens place number and got this. And I know to add 1 to that, I'm going to have to start with the number 7. So I'm going to write the 7 underneath that. And I'm going to write the other numbers the same, just around it. So 8,879 to 8,889. If I look across, the numbers should go up by 1. 7, 8, 9. And because I can't go right up to 10 and have only one digit, I have to go to 0. Start with 0 again. 0, 1. And you could probably predict that this is going to be 8,929 because 0, 1, 2. There's a pattern. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to help your child recognize this pattern as they're working with these numbers. So, for example, this rule is to add 100. So instead of starting with the tens place, which is what we worked on up here, we start with the one hundreds place, and we do the same thing. So this one is just going to go up by one. And we're going to do that all the way across. So the pattern that we're working with here is goes up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And when we go to zero, we also have to change the next number to the left. And in this case, it would be the thousands place. And then we start again. One, two, three, four, and so on. So if we go up one here, it's going to be eight, nine. And these numbers stay exactly the same. Eight, nine. So this hundreds number is the only one that changes first, unless it goes to a zero. And then the thousands place changes too. And then here, this one is add 1,000. So we're going to start in the 1,000s place. And we're going to add 1 from the 1,000s place. And it's going to be the exact same pattern. Once you get from 9 to 0, 
you're going to have to make a new column. So you're actually going to have five number places by the time that you're done. Right now you have four, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. You're going to have to create a new space for ten th ten, tens of thousands, the ten thousands, which will be the space number five. And just to help you see that a little more clearly, these are the spaces, the place values that we're working with. So, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, thousands. Okay, so when it looks like, when it looks like this here, these are the four places, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones. And then you'll have to create one more place for this last one for ten thousands place. So you'll actually have five places. That is Homelink 5.1 Frames and Arrows.